Hi plant friends, it's Wax Plant Wednesday. Today's featured plant is the Hoya Macrophylla Alba Marginata, also known as the Hoya Latifolia. I received two cuttings back in March of last year. I propagated this beauty. You might remember this propagation video. Wait until you see what the plant's doing now. Ever since I potted this plant up, it's been on my orchid shelf, soaking up all this grow light. Unlike my other orchids, they get about four to five hours of direct sun each day. This one gets mainly grow light, and the grow light's on for about 12 hours each day. With being on the grow light, this plant has been actively growing ever since potted up. Her tendrils are lengthening quite a bit and she's pushed out a lot of new vines. I have no plans on putting this Hoya on a trellis just yet. I find with Hoyas, when they're in their growth spurt and tendrilling out quite nicely, it's best not to touch the tendril. Sometimes it stops growing. And with this one, I want to see how much it's going to grow. And I'm hoping this tendril is going to push out some nice, beautiful leaves. New tendrils normally push out new peduncles so to give flowers. The plant's still a little bit young, so I don't think I'll get any flowers this year, but if I do, it will be a nice surprise. My watering routine for this plant is to water once a week. I let the plant completely dry out before watering. For years I used slow release fertilizer, one that you'd use for your tomatoes and veggies. This year I've decided to switch it up, I've switched over to the Fox Farm Tiger Bloom. You'll notice that this grow tip has died back and sometimes this can be a little bit discouraging but never fear, sometimes this will allow the Hoya to branch out quite nicely and look at this, a new vine right from the base of this tendril. Her media is a bit of soil, orchid bark, and sponge rock. Although this plant is in a bright spot, the grow lights have been very beneficial. The plant has continued growing all winter. I have a second plant that lives in my living room, and ever since winter, it's been sleeping. I'm quite impressed with the growth on this plant over the winter, especially being under grow lights. Plant friends, don't sleep on those grow lights, especially if you've got a room that doesn't get a lot of bright light. This is a great way for you to still collect plants that like it bright. Thanks for watching, Plant Friends. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment, and follow me on Instagram at Life of Bellina.